What's up everyone, this is Tyson from Titans of CNC. I've had this NLX 2500 for about a year now, and I thought it'd be cool to show you some tips and tricks on the machine. So one of the things I was thinking of was how to touch off tools on the DMG Mori NLX 2500. So I'm gonna walk you through all the steps on how to touch off tools. So I got the CNMG insert in a KM50 holder from Kenna Metal. I'm gonna show you how to touch off tools using this. We're gonna go ahead and touch this off on the tool probe. I'm gonna walk you through step by step how to do that. It sounds simple, but there's some little differences between running this and the Haas machine that I'd like to show you that I wish I knew when I first started. So the first thing with the tool probe is that when I first got the machine, I wasn't quite sure if this just comes down or not because there's a little bit of force that you have to use to bring it down. It's not like the SL10s or the SL20s that I'm used to where the tool probe comes down with very little force. So when I first got the machine, I was a little worried that, you know, pulling on this might break something or I wasn't supposed to do that. But it does come down when you pull it. And it's actually kind of nice that it has some resistance because you don't have to worry about it starting to come down a little bit when the machine's running. I've had it happen on other machines where I'm machining and everything's running and the tool probe starts to come down just a little bit and alarms out the machine. So you don't have to worry about that with this guy. You can see I got an alarm when I brought down the probe. It confused me a little bit because even though it seemed like a simple alarm, I thought I was doing something wrong here and couldn't understand why every single time I wanted to touch off a tool, it was asking me to home out the Y position. And that's because whenever you do something, when you first turn on the machine with the Mori, you have to home out the Y axis. Even though the machine's already homed out in Y, it's a safety feature they put in so that you have to home out the Y axis when you first turn on the machine so that the machine knows it's ready to run and you don't accidentally start it when you don't want to start it. So I'm going to bring up the tool probe. I'm going to close the door, clear the alarm by hitting the reset button, and then I'm going to click on zero return, hold down the safety key, and I'm going to push Y plus. That homes out the machine in Y. If your machine is already homed in Y, and this is the first time you're turning on the machine, you just have to tap it. It just has to have the Y axis homed. So now that I took care of that, I'm gonna unlock the door, and we're ready to bring down the tool probe. So when you bring down the tool probe, it automatically goes to the geometry offset page, shows you the tool probe here, and that means it's all ready to start touching off tools. When I first got the machine, I got this far, but I wasn't quite sure how to work the handle jog like it is on the Haas machines. On the Haas machines, when you bring down the tool probe, you just go into handle jog mode and you start turning the dial. But with the DMG, it didn't seem like I was able to control this. And when I tried to look in the manual, it's all built into the machine and that was one of the first things that when I got the machine was going through all the manuals to see if I could figure out how to run it on my own. I couldn't quite figure that out. I found instructions in the manual on how to touch off tools, but I wasn't quite sure what they were talking about when they were saying using the manual pulse generator to move the tool approximately two millimeters from the stylus. I had no idea what a manual pulse generator was, but it turns out that's what they were talking about with the handle jog here. So to use the handle jog, I'm gonna shut the door. So to handle jog, all you have to do is you have your axis selection here. You click the dial to which axis you want to move. So I click to X. The screen down here changed a little bit. It's ready to start handle jogging. You have your speed control over here. So I'm going to go to 100 times. And now it's moving in X. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the tool in Z, get it above the tool probe, and then I'm going to come down in X and I'm going to try to bring the tool about a hundred thousandths away from the tool probe. When I get close, I'm going to drop the speed, just carefully bring it so that we're a hundred thousandths away. So my tool is about a hundred thou away from the probe. So I'm going to click on the jog button here and then I'm going to hold the safety key down. And because I'm touching off the top of the tool probe, I need to bring the tool down. So I'm going to hit X minus and the tool automatically starts moving until it touches the probe. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the Z axis. So I'm above the tool probe right now. I'm gonna to switch to Z. I'm gonna move the tool 
come in front of the tool probe, bring it down an X, get roughly towards the middle. And when I got it close, I'm going to do the same thing. Click on the jog button. And this time, I'm going to hit the Z minus key to touch it off on the side of the probe. And that's how you touch off tools on the NLX 2500. It's very similar to the Haas. There's just a little bit of a different order that you do things and it's more trying to find where some of the controls are. So hopefully that helps you out. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for our next videos. Sometime soon I'll have a video up on how to touch off tools on the second spindle. And that's going to be using this probe here, which you actually attach in the machine. It's pretty cool. So I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.